Hey everybody, welcome to the Your Life Blueprint Sound Vibrations. I am Gandharva. Thanks so much for watching these videos. Please share them with your friends, with your family, with your neighbors, with your enemies. <laughs> share them with everybody so that we all can find out who we are, learn more about our blueprint and what motivates us in life, how we progress spiritually, how we relate with other people. So many things to learn <laughs> and so little time. So today is Sunday and on Sunday, this solar day, solar shining, radiating day of um, warmth and trust and authority in a good way, in a good way. Um, I always, or almost always on Sundays, read from the great poet Rumi. Because Rumi was a solar spiritual being. He was an integrative spiritual being. And we talk about this integrative archetype every Sunday, how Sundays are a day to bring things together, to shine and radiate, to feel your independence, your strength, and to warm others with your light and not be afraid to shine. That's what integrative solar archetype is all about. Let your light shine. Don't hide it. Don't hide it. You have many unique gifts that you can share with the world based on your blueprint. So do it. Do it today, Sunday. What better day? So uh, here's a little roomy and here's the uh, tambura which plays the vibrations of the day. Listen to your essential self, the friend. When you feel longing, be patient and also prudent. Moderate with eating and drinking, be like a mountain in the wind. Do you notice how little it moves? There are sweet illusions that arrive to lure you away. Make some excuse to them. Oh, uh, I have indigestion. Or, I need to meet my cousin, so, you know. You fish and the baited hook may be 50 or even 60 gold pieces. But is it really worth your freedom in the ocean? You fish, the baited hook may be 50 or even 60 gold pieces. But is it really worth your freedom in the ocean? Is it really worth your freedom in the ocean. When traveling, stay close to your bag. I am the bag that holds what you love. You can be separated from me. Live carefully in the joy of this friendship. Don't think but others love me? Don't think that. Some invitations sound like the fowler's whistle to the quail. Friendly, but not quite how you remember the call of your soul's friend. Not quite how you remember the call of your soul's friend. Inside a lover's heart, there's another world. And yet, another inside the friend of this community of lovers, an ear 
that interprets mystery, a vein of silver in the ground, another sky intellect and compassion are ladders. We climb and there are other ladders as we walk in the night. That voice that talks of forgiveness inside Shams' universe, candlelight itself becomes a moth to die in this candle. Inside Shams' universe, candlelight itself becomes a moth to die in his candle. A moth flying into the flame says with its wing fire, try this. The wick with its knotted neck broken tells you the same. A candle as it diminishes explains, gathering more and more is not the way. Burn, become light and heat and help, melt. The ocean sits in the sand, letting its lap fill with pearls and shells, and then empty. A bitter salt taste hums this. The phoenix gives up on good and bad, flies to rest on Mount Kaf. No more burning and rising from ash. It sends one message. The rose purifies its face, drops the soft petals, shows its thorn, and points. Wine abandons thousands of famous names, the vintage years and delightful bouquets, to run wild and anonymous through your brain. The flute closes its eyes and gives its lips to Hamza's emptiness. Everything begs with the silent rocks for you to be flung out like light over this plane. The presence of Shams. The presence of Shams. The presence of Shams. Be a light unto the world today.